Watching insects buzz through a sea of colorful plants isn't a rare sighting. But what these bugs don't know is that their sweet nectary treat just might come at a cost. Former teacher Michael Sezzi owns and operates Carnivorous Plant Nursery in Frederick County, Maryland. He specializes in growing plants that rely on a unique source for their nutrients, bugs. The notion of plants that eat bugs is so contrary to what we usually think of as Mother Nature that it's just really an intriguing subject in itself to do that. And the variety that nature has taken to find adaptations to survive and to continue to grow and to multiply, I just find that an exciting thing. And education is such a good way to be able to spread that. As an award-winning high school science teacher for 35 years, Michael discovered that carnivorous, or bug-eating plants, were an incredible teaching tool. When you start a botany unit in high school, you're gonna get kids who just roll their eyes and go, oh, plants, they are so boring. And I'd say, well, wait a minute, let me show you something. So I'd bring out some carnivorous plants, and I'd say, well, look at these and look at what we can do. They would start asking questions about them. He shared this experience with other teachers, which led to an idea. So I started doing talks at the National Teacher Conferences, a variety of them. Take some carnivorous plants, talk about engaging students, and share with them some of the lab activities that we were doing in the classroom. And after the talk, there was often a very common question. Where can I get some of those plants, Michael? And it dawned on me what the answer should be. Well, you can get them from me. And so we started the nursery about 20 years ago. A couple of sales the first week, but it has just skyrocketed. It's been a wonderful experience. Now we've got five employees and things are doing very well for us. So with dozens of varieties from all over the world, just how do they grow all these exotic specimens? If you want to succeed with the plants, you have to understand their habitat, where these guys come from and it's a rather unique habitat. They need to be wet all the time. You want a nutrient poor soil and you want to give them as much light as possible. So that's what we do here in our growing beds. The plants still get their energy from the sun, but since they can't get many nutrients from the soil, they have to catch them. They're pretty much self-sufficient. They pretty much take care of themselves as far as catching bugs and eating, but we do need to supply water and obviously light, but I mean, really nature just does the rest for the most part. These plants have evolved. It's crazy what they do, and I'm really amazed by them for sure. They all use different hunting techniques. Some have sticky sap. Some have tricky traps. Others just go snap. And the appetite of some plants is truly amazing. Apparently, customers can't get enough either. Despite their small footprint, business at Carnivorous Plant Nursery just keeps growing. We do orders Monday through Thursday, so we have orders every day. So you're pretty much going to see me going out, picking the plants, cleaning them and my assistant, you will see him wrapping them up and his project, he packages them all up and gets them ready for shipping. Working alongside his wife and son, Michael transformed the nursery from a hobby to a major operation. They now ship thousands of plants worldwide every week. The interest is just amazing and it continues to grow because we've specialized in a very unique little niche of the plant world. You put a carnivorous plant in front of anyone, a child, an adult, they really start asking questions and begin to understand not just the beauty of nature, but why the environment is so important to us. These plants are a great stimulus for that kind of conversation. 
And if you're a bug, just remember to watch your step. Thanks for watching Maryland Farm and Harvest. We hope you like the video. To learn more about our show and watch full episodes, check out mpt.org/farm or just click the link in the description.